Trump is escalating the trade war just just like I'm escalating the car right now. That was weak. Oh, I'm already past 70. I mean, uh, past uh, just under the speed limit. So, there we go, another 200 billion. Well, you know why he's escalating it so quickly. It's because he's a maniac. He's crazy. Or he wants to get this wrapped up before the midterms. He's not going to even worry about it. Now, China's only thing is to hope that this hurts him during the midterms, which it doesn't look like it's going to at all. But one can only hope when you've got nothing else and that's all you have midterms um, now think about this what is China gonna do when they have to cave when they have to cave and give up do you think China is gonna just let that happen and leave everything the same and just say oh well we're just gonna move forward and pretend like nothing happened no China is going to have to switch the deck of cards, if you know what I mean. And by switching the deck of cards, I mean Xi Jinping. We don't need you anymore. That's what that means. The president of China might just lose his job. Honor is everything in China. Honor. That's a big deal. It's a very proud and honor-driven society, culture. And when Xi Jinping fails, because Trump is not going to give up, do you think Trump is going to back down and say, oh, well, we're going to just give up everything? Well, China doesn't want to give up anything either. So there will be an agreement of some kind. And it's going to have to be something to which China can say, well, this is different than before, so we can accept this agreement. Uh, that's, it's gonna have to save face somehow because uh, Xi Jinping may just lose his seat. Honor is everything in China. Honor, that's a big deal. It's a very proud and honor-driven society, culture. And when Xi Jinping fails because Trump is not going to give up, do you think Trump is going to back down and say, oh, well, we're going to just give up everything? Well, China doesn't want to give up anything either. So there will be an agreement of some kind. And it's going to have to be something to which China can say, well, this is different than before, so we can accept this agreement. Uh, that's, it's gonna have to save face somehow because uh, Xi Jinping may just lose his seat. Yeah, yeah. So look for that. Impeachment of the president by January, but not our president, the Chinese president. Because once he caves, he's going to cave especially after the midterms because he's got nothing else. Nothing else. The only leverage he has is trying to hurt Trump in the midterms. That's all. And once that fails, he's got nothing. So look for this to be gone and done with at the very latest. December. Merry Christmas. The tariffs are off and everything is back to normal for us and in, in addition uh, increase opportunity in China. And what that would do is drive up demand which temporarily will drive up prices in the US because now we have to manufacture for us and China. So that's going to drive prices up.
So you were worried about prices going up because of tariffs, they're gonna go up anyway. There's so many upward driving forces that uh, I think inflation is gonna be a topic of discussion. That's what I think. Trump is trying to accelerate this because it has to go fast. It get, it's gotta hit fast and hard to the point where the Chinese, well, the, the stock market's already tanking. Do some more, stock market takes some more. Not our stock market, but the Chinese stock market. Ours is fine. So, I I don't know if he's gonna even go full bore or gonna have to go full bore. Because I think China is gonna see the writing on the wall and say, we better do something. Let's make a deal. You know what I mean? So. That's my take. Later.